who, have, who want to be going to their sessions and we're just a few minutes over nine o'clock. So I'm going to make a wrap, but all I'm going to say is just a very few words about what we're going to need in the following months and years. We're going to need a vision if we're going to survive this and thrive through it. And we have been inspired by many people in our lives who have given us vision and we've learned from them. We need optimism. If a man hasn't survived and thrived and given the world something with greater optimism than Nelson Mandela, how can we be in this room and be pessimistic fundraisers? We need optimism. If you're Spanish, you see you've got simultaneous translation going on. <laughs> we need ambition. Who would have thought in that time of Martin Luther King, we're possibly on the cusp, and I pray that we are, even though I don't pray, that we're going to have a, a black democratic president who actually knows something about the world and knows something about poverty and its needs. We need mobile phones that are turned off. As I say, I work in Spain. We've heard from Argentina. We've got flamenco. We've got salsa. We've got tango. This is the time to tango, but we need to approach our fundraising with more passion and vigor and energy than ever before. You've heard from Amanda how the INGOs got together and in a sense helped build a, a mutual action plan. And you've heard from Norma how Banco Santander managed to cooperate with a food bank to help a country and an organization in crisis. Now is a time for cooperation more than ever. Don't say, no, that's my data, that's my information, that's my experience, I'm not going to share it with you. I've been coming here 21 years. It's the best 21, the best thing I do every year in 21 years because it's about sharing. It's about sharing our knowledge. It's also about sharing our support. So some of you will be having a hard time, no doubt, from your boards, from your CEOs, who will say, no, we can't invest. Call up one of the people in this room and say, did you get it through your board? Can you even come and speak to my management team? And you'll be surprised how open other people are to speak to your management team. Remember when I was at Greenpeace, I used to go and speak to the management team at WWF. They were competitors, but it helped Mario Fetz get his things through, and he did likewise. It's a time for innovation. You know, Argentina, Marcelo, and Norma were innovating their way through a crisis. This is when the really smart thinking comes out. And I still think some of the best fundraising ideas have not come out of the great nice years as the governor of Bank of England, it's often when we struggle that we come up with our best ideas. I think we've heard it from everybody today. You know, Warren is probably the only person, Warren Buffett's probably the only person who's got massively richer to get in the last few weeks and months because he actually knows how to invest wisely. And I urge you to invest wisely, but push your management team, push your boards to invest. Invest in data research, even stuff that you can't quantify necessarily. It's going to bring you an immediate return on investment. <laughs> Same thing again, Marcelo said, what did you need in a crisis? You needed information, better information. When I first started coming here, the fundraising world was mostly direct mail driven. There's one thing the direct mail industry in fundraising had, is they had a huge focus on data. They could tell you if your head looked that way or that way, what percentage response uplift that might give to a direct mail appeal. I believe we've got very lazy about managing information in recent years. I'm a gut instinct fundraiser myself, but I think we should be armed with better information and information that we share. And I should say, everything's going to be on blogs, Howard's stuff's going to be on uh, YouTube later today that he's been filming in this session. Share what, everything you can. Integration. As you heard, what do you do in crisis? You spend more on upgrading and other activities within your fundraising, but integrate at last. We're often throwing money away because we're using internet without thinking how the telephone can be integrated. And as we've heard, speaking to your donors, which is usually by telephone, is one of the best ways of convincing them and dealing with their concerns. It's going to be a combination of our heads and our hearts, the passion and the brain in the next few weeks and months. And above all, Let's keep smiling, because if we don't smile through a crisis, we won't, if we don't tango, if we don't salsa, if we don't vaults, we will not get through it. So smile, enjoy the rest of the conference, and go raise truckloads of money. Thank you. Thank you.